Hey guys, welcome back to the wrap up for the 8th of December 2018. Interesting time here in the markets. You know, we we were looking last week and it kind of looked like it was gapping up here. Let me get my pen out. A little bit of strength that just got kind of completely and utterly destroyed for this week. So, you know, last week we were looking at it and it looked kind of something like in this area. You can see, you know, the last five days, there was a little bit of a move up and then just sold back there entirely. So really um, very damaging time and very damaging candles, in my opinion, right? There's the length of these candles, the fact that we bounce kind of right at this support that we've been looking at for a while. And then that just got kind of completely reversed. It's, it is possible, but it's very rare that you have a big down candle like this. And then you have a big up candle that retraces it and then the next one sells off and vice versa right the the odds that we're gonna have something that says okay well we gapped up and we tried to push higher off support and that got reversed and landed right back down at that support the odds that we don't at least penetrate that a bit and go lower even if it is you know a bear trap or something we move higher is very low so i would be utterly shocked if over the next you know few weeks we don't break down under this level, right? I don't know for how long, but uh, that seems super common. And then if we, you know, take a little bit of a, a wider look, this looks very much like a bear flag. You know, we had this move down off the top, then we've had this consolidation in it, and then I think a breakout is probably, breakdown is probably pretty likely. I'm gonna continue to try to be balanced. Uh, I'll show you why this week on both long and short. You can probably guess what happened to all of our longs this week with this and what happened to all of our shorts. But one thing to note is when I went through my scans this week, I had a very, very hard time finding anything that was interesting longs. So certainly, I'm not one to always scream, freak out in the end of the world, but there's not really much here that looks too promising. The only thing that's been showing a little bit of strength and maybe helping the market somewhat is oil looks like it might be due for an oversold bounce down here. Really, you know, I'm not going to expect anything like this, but, you know, maybe we bounce up and try to test the declining 50 day or, or something like this. But it's really kind of been the only thing that I've been uh, paying close attention to on the long side is trying to look for something uh, something that might have an oversold bounce or something like that. So let's quickly go through the markets for last week. So Marriott had this gap down here on that bad news, uh, moved up a little bit and triggered us here on Wednesday, flopped around and, and got us a little bit there for the end of the week. So that one wasn't too bad. Uh, kind of the star of the show here was this BRKS. I was talking about how this was actually a Holly suggested short if people are looking in and wondering, is the AI only good for day traders? This is actually where I got alerted to that trade. I like the fact that it had this strong level of support here, that it had broken down and it came back up and retested and penetrated a little bit. So I said, okay, if this coils back down and, and breaks down this support, it could go. And that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good call on that one. JBHT was just a simple, uh, bear flag look, you know, we had this move down and then we had this kind of consolidation sideways. So I just thought a breakdown of that could continue. We ended up pushing down a little bit there. So decent on that one. AJG, just a uh, double top, triple top, right? Some sort of a top. And we really noted these candles here, these, these reversal candles and right, took a short in through here and we had a pretty decent trade on that. Get ready because all of the longs we got absolutely killed on, which in this market doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, we were looking for a move here. It actually gapped over our position, so there wouldn't have been a fill there on Monday, but then came back down through it and then just kind of continued lower. Again, if I was actively trading these, maybe I would do things a little bit differently, but this experiment is just that. You know, it, it is to show that you can use something like trade ideas to backtest your strategies, come up with a statistical edge, transfer that statistical edge into your technical mindset, set out these orders and just forget them and see how it goes. And, and it's, again, it's been working fantastically uh, as a nice little additional trading style on top of the things that you guys have already seen me do. So 
this MDCO wasn't too bad. We were looking forward to break out here and then it just, uh, it just kind of failed. INSM, same type of thing, right? Everything had a little bit of strength Monday, maybe a little bit of strength Tuesday and then completely fell apart. And same with this WWD, which was just uh, pretty, pretty bad where we had a trigger here on Monday and then it just sold off. But this is why I look for a balanced approach of these two. You can see, you know, we'll call it up 62 cents or $62 per 100 shares, but really net net uh, a flat type of a week. Um, so even though it's been harder to find longs, I'm going to keep these on watch because our goal is here just to have our winning trades slightly outperform the losing ones. So REZI is a IPO. It's a, a newer stock. You can see that all the candles are condensed because this is all the data that there is. And I'm basically just looking at this as we have some support down through here that's held. We bounced off that support. Looks like we may have made a higher lower, a higher low and looking to turn up. So I think it's possible that if this higher low is kind of confirmed, that people look at this as a trend change and that gets us going a little bit. Uh, NJR, this is from the stock ranking that I talked about where we have this little algorithm that ranks stocks based off of technical and, and fundamental and social indicators. Uh, here at 86 bucks or 86 uh, score out of 100, it's pretty strong. And with, I love these kind of patterns you guys know of a breakout of resistance, a pullback into it and a continuation. It's really, if, if you were to ask me what my kind of favorite type daily play is, uh, that's one of them. And same kind of thing I'm looking at here on CDNA. Uh, we had this kind of push higher here and then a nice pullback. We're holding the 50 day, we're holding a little bit above support here with a higher low. I think if we coil back up, we could we could move higher, uh, long away from the trigger here. You know, at the very least, I'd want it to get kind of back up into this area. Um, so you know, odds of that triggering might be slim. And WM, right? We had this area of resistance here that we've broken through and we've pulled back in. So I think any sign of strength here, we could continue higher. And now for the short plays, this. EXPD, you can see uh, stock ranking 50, right? Anything under say a 70 is, is usually pretty bad, but I just kind of like the this particular candle where we've gapped down, we ran back up to try to fill the gap and failed and come back down. And there's really no support to way down here at like 65. So that's what's interesting there. Uh, PCG, hammered, hammered, hammered. A weak, weak attempt at a bounce and coiling over. Looks like it may want to continue continue lower if it breaks that. T-Mobile just can't get going, right? Every time it gets, comes up to 70, gets smacked back down, comes up to 70, smacked back down. We're at kind of this area of support. I just think if this gives way, there's going to be a whole lot of stop orders and, and people chasing that momentum down. Last is IP. And the same type of pattern, right? The, the one thing you'll notice about most traders is we get something that we like and we just repeat it until it no longer works. And I really like the concept of all of these sellers are getting involved, um, short covers, whatever you want to call it, bounce buyers are getting in here. When you see these people start to lose strength, it makes it more open that anyone who bought this bounce, if I was long this bounce, you know, if I picked up my shares in here and I saw this, I would say, okay, well, let's just move our stop under here, you know, so that if this continues, then great. But if it starts to roll back over, I've taken my profit. And same as short sellers, basically just looking for this as a trend continuation lower. So keeping an eye on that. So as we round out the year, I just want to let you know that the last week of the year, I'm going to be in Cuba. I may do another video there that has to do with auto trading or, or something like that, but I will be out of the traditional office, so there won't be a video around there. Now, coming soon, I don't know when, it may be the New Year's, there's going to be much, much more videos on the channel uh, of different topics. I've been kind of taking suggestions and ideas, uh, very much want to get more into, uh, into doing this 
YouTube thing more and just paying more attention to you guys. Um, so there's definitely huge things coming. Uh, until then, I'm, I got a lot of requests of how I work mobily, what my workflow is, considering I mentioned that, you know, right now we're on an iPad and, and you know, how a lot of questions of how is it that you actually work? What does your workflow look like? So I'm going to do a little video about that uh, next week. It may take two weeks or so to get going. Um, so to stay tuned for that and stay tuned for these uh, live trading videos that are going to start up really, really soon. So if you haven't subscribed, do it, you know, um, tell your friends. And as always, if you're interested in this program at all, uh, link is in the description down below along with a little discount code to save you some money too. So trade safe out there, guys.